ladies and gentlemen, and gentlemen and ladies, just wanted to mention to you that, because some of you just don't know, because we just did it, um, there are going to be attached to this particular video about seven or eight or nine documents. It, well, it's going to be a folder, and that folder is going to have several motion templates from writs of certiaries to small claims lawsuit filings. You're just going to have to incorporate everything in it. It's just the basic templates. We are getting ready to create this information for you so that it'll be readily accessible. Okay, so uh, notice of appeal, appeal briefs, small claims lawsuit, responses to demurs, uh, requests for dismissal with prejudice, so on and so forth. Those motions. Um, let's do this so that you guys can see it. We're going to go, let's do the cha-cha-cha. We're going to go to satcom911.com. That's where they're going to be. That's A T C O M M 911. Uh oh, that's not a dot. That's not a dot either. That's a dot. Sorry. We want to go. Don't want to go there. Want to go. A legal understanding. That's exactly where we want to go. A legal understanding. I don't want the pacer letter. Sorry. We, we are at a legal understanding. Let's get rid of public pacer. We'll do that right there. We'll just go to the folder of legal understanding. Now, what you want is doc templates. Doc, hey, what up, doc? Copy link. I need to shorten the link for y'all. So doc templates. So you're going to click on doc templates. Look at that. District court fee waiver. No, that's not it. Uh, yeah, Kevin, IRS refund. Anyway. Lexix Nexus, no, not there. Oh, look at that. Notice of appeal, notice of change of address, and petition for writ of certiary, petition to dismiss, small claims lawsuit, substitution of attorney, one, two, and three, suit at common law, civil complaint. Those are all done for you guys. They're basic templates. You'll have to fill it in, but there you go. We'll be doing more for you so that you'll have it. You don't have to go all over the internet. Told you, if you guys really need documents, all you got to do, watch this. I ain't going to do it much. Watch, keep going up. We're moving on up to the east side. Okay. Here is where you go to get all of the information you need. That's why it's here for you all. Okay. Literally, that's why it's here for you all. Lord have mercy. Just so that you guys know, this is where the people who are getting remedy, this is where they're going. This is why they're thanking us for putting this information out there so they get started. We put this out there for you guys. Do your research, people. You have remedy here. We put it there on purpose. All right. Oh. Let me say this because we're going to combine this video with some other information. Y'all heard about the Eclipse? Yeah, I, man, I used to have one of them cars. No, I ain't never had no Eclipse. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, the Eclipse that's supposed to happen on the 8th of April. Apparently it's supposed to be some big deal as if there's never been an Eclipse anywhere on this planet. Never, ever happened before. Like the first time we've ever had an Eclipse. Ladies and gentlemen, first just so that you understand, because many of you don't get it. The true God doesn't act that way. Now, the reason why everybody thinks that the eclipse has something to do with God, wake up! Stop listening. No, I don't have to do that. I can just go straight to the scriptures. Sorry. Um, we're going to be going to Joel. Joel! Joel. Joel! And we're going to open up Joel. Joel! And we're going to go to the second chapter of Joel. Joel! And we're going to go right about here. The sun will be turned into darkness and the moon into blood before the coming of the great and awe-inspiring day of Jehovah. Now we're going to go to the book of Acts. That's not Acts. Let's see. Let's see if this gives us Acts. Because those are the two places. It's in Luke and Mark. Well, Jesus talks about it too. So let's go to, let's go to Mark. But in those days, after the tribulation, the sun will be darkened and the moon will not give its light. And the stars will fall out of the heavens and the powers that are in the heavens will be shaken. 
ladies and gentlemen, this heaven is not talking about the sky. It's not talking about the universe. It's talking about rulership of mankind. Those heavens, the rulership. That heavens is above you, okay? As it is above, so it is anyway. So it's not talking about the literal heavens. And the powers of the heavens, world governments, will be shaken. Those stars, those individuals who are supposed to be so prevalent would fall, is what it's referring and then they will see the Son of Man coming in the clouds with great power and glory. See, in the Bible, if it was stars of the actual godly heavens, it would be the angels. Okay, Revelation, the 12th chapter lets you know that. So it ain't talking about that. It is talking about, but because people see the thing about the moon not giving us light and the sun being darkened, ah, that's an eclipse. And that's not what it's talking about, people. So no, this has nothing to do with him. This has everything to do with y'all. The people who are coming up with this stuff, making this stuff up as they go along. They want to put it in human terms. It, this ain't a human thing. It ain't a human thing. Luke is going to say the same thing. And there will be signs of the sun and the moon and the stars and the earth and the anguish of the nation, not knowing the way out because the roaring of the people, the sea and its agitation and the people will become faint out of fear and expectation of the common things coming upon the inhabited earth. For the powers of the heavens, the world governments will be shaken. Okay, that's it. But what's happening is because people keep hearing about this. They keep hearing about the sun being darkened. Oh, God, it's, it's an eclipse. Stop it, people. That's nowhere near what it's talking about. You're taking something literal that ain't literal. All right, hey, I got to go. But we did provide those documents for you guys. Uh, there's more information that we have to do, but I'm not going to do no video tonight. I've been on documents all day since I got up this morning. I'm about to go lay down and go to sleep because tomorrow's going to be longer than today. Hey, y'all take care. I got to get, I can't even go lay down. I got to go get some water. All right, y'all take care and we'll speak to you the next time. Hey, just thought we'll tell you those documents are going to be up there for y'all. All right. All right. Oh, that just means.